one is a special one because uh, you have a single person control running it all the way through. Uh, and what you have to do is you have to do with the one that you have to do with the one that you have to do trim in several years since I, ran, since I ran on the Boston Marathon in 1977, but I thank you very much indeed, and uh, the, the, the wish I would make is that uh, continued success and thanks for all the professionals and the people that are here this evening, and uh, the only resistance I see in the resource of stock is at about 10 pounds, so I'm fine. I would like to take just a few minutes of our time now. Uh, Notwithstanding, not 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 I'm not a consummate public speaker. As our, oh, you want to cut this? Okay. As uh, some of the people in the room especially our uh, resident politician, Mr. Lilly. Um, I will, uh, I, I think it's important uh, to really relate some of my personal feelings and the feelings of Great Western Resources uh, to the group that's assembled this evening. Uh, I'm uh, somewhat of a fatalist in that uh, a lot of the things that have happened have happened really uh, by way of, not really luck, but uh, calculated luck, more importantly. Uh, I uh, had been asked here recently in the last few hours, especially today, how I feel. Well, I don't really feel <coughs> any different than I did yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, or the day before. But uh, what I do feel is that... Uh, <clears throat> I think I need a little cognac here to wash my face. <laughs> what I really do feel is that, uh, short of the birth of my two sons, this is uh, the, probably the happiest day of my life. Uh, very much like the birth of my two sons, Derek Stewart and Dan Jr. Somebody had, a, somebody else other than myself had a great deal to do with this. Uh, <laughs> Notwithstanding, I was the father of my two children uh, and the father of this project. My wife, uh, with respect to my two sons, did all the work and, uh, and, and bore the children. Uh, very much analogous to that, the people in this room, amongst a great many other people that aren't here this evening, uh, did all the work and bore the child, which was Great Western Resources. Uh, 
Today uh, is the uh, 10th of August, 1984, which is for a lot of uh, obvious reasons that we've already discussed. It's my birthday, and I'm 39 today. The, uh, but it's the 13th year that I've been out of university. I've been in the real business world 13 years. 13 is a very lucky number to me. Uh, I met my wife on Friday the 13th, 1970. She was one of 13 women, and I was the only man on the ski trip to the Assembly of California, which is fairly legend in the United States, which has been unpublished here. We got engaged on Friday the 13th, and we were married on Friday the 13th, 1973. Um, it's only fitting that Great Western Resources was floated uh, here in the UK uh, in the 13th year on the 10th, notwithstanding our first or our second day of dealings will be the 13th of August, which will be Monday. <laughs> the, uh, I feel that, notwithstanding I've, I've received a number of accolades about uh, the success of the quotation, it, it's really very much a, a group effort. Uh, a group effort uh, that I think that should be rewarded. And this is just a very, very uh, minor way of, of, of issuing my thanks and Great Western Resources thanks to the people that did an absolutely uh, uh, and tremendous professional job. Uh, more than anything, our success, uh, notwithstanding the great professionals that were involved, from the solicitors to the uh, accountants to the, uh, to the merchant bankers and all the people that are involved, there's one or two people that really have have really shown as bright as these lights in the room this evening. One of which is sitting at the table with me this evening, and his name is John Coyle. He uh, happens to be with a company called Broad Street. Uh, he's in the advertising business, PR business. But more importantly, I think he's really shown gifted genius in bringing uh, publicity and PR to an issue that has been maligned because of the industry that it happens to be in, the oil and gas business. Um, notwithstanding the negative press generically that has come out about our industry, John, through his genius and his colleague's genius at Broad Street, has somehow, perhaps in a convoluted manner, I'm, sure, I'm still not sure how he's done it, <laughs> has, has convinced the uh, investing public, the institutional investor, the uh, the analyst, that uh, that we should defy gravity, as it was as it was put uh, this morning in uh, in the Times. Um, I can't thank John Paul and Broad Street enough. Uh, the I've been involved in a lot of uh, issues, uh, notwithstanding my background is Wall Street, and I have never seen a better job done, more professional job done. And I, I think that it, 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 it's due, uh, John Coyle, a, a round of applause from the other professionals that were involved in this issue. John? Um, Brown Shipley, uh, who really was the forefront of this issue, and, and uh, more importantly, their head of corporate finance, Really, when some of the other parties that were involved in this, uh, from the press to everybody else, perhaps got a little weak need and need a little stiff upper lip, as they would say here in the UK, uh, uh, really went to bat for us. Uh, John Van Cuffler, uh, who notwithstanding, he looks seen more senior than he is. Uh, he's really... <laughs> Is really, the, really a relatively young man. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Merchant Banking has done this to him, <laughs> but uh, John has done an exemplary job, and he's represented Brown Shipley in a magnificent way. The uh, since I uh, did come from uh, the United States investment banking field and have dealt with the Merrill Lynch's, the Morgan Stanley. Families to everybody involved and have had the odd deal on the street, I was very much impressed. And 
notwithstanding uh, to quote uh, Bette Midler, who has described England as, what's the difference between England and uh, New York? And uh, she was recently interviewed here a few weeks ago on TV AM or Good Morning Britain or whatever it's called. She said, well, right now it's uh, 11 o'clock in New York City. And here in London, it's 1939. <laughs> well, notwithstanding that sleepy, lazy attitude that people may think uh, uh, permeates the city of London, it's not true. And uh, we got this transaction done in four months from the womb to the tomb. Notwithstanding, this is in our grave. And uh, nobody uh, is, has been more responsible for that and John Van Cuffler of Brown Shipley, and I'd like John to stand up and to take his due. The uh, backup for John, who I've uh, made some very caustic remarks about over uh, the 15 or 20 institutional presentations that I made, uh, and the butt of my jokes, Where's the butt of my joke? Oh, Karen uh, has been really three people. Uh, first and foremost, because of his youth and because of the fact that he's 23 and he was 15, uh, is Jeremy Knight, who uh, was really the manager of our project. Richard Osman, please stand up. And Jonathan Gay, who's really the senior statesman. Lord couldn't be here tonight. I don't mind saying in front of Richard Mansell Jones, the managing director of Brownship. These are really the brains of the deal. I still remember uh, several months ago in uh, Los Angeles when uh, Jonathan Gage uh, had cocktails. Why oh, are you covering your head, Jonathan? Had cocktails at our, at our home and we went out to dinner and uh, Jonathan was telling me, this is fantastic. <laughs> but gee, he sounds some uh, cross between Bella Lugosi and uh, somebody I, I, can, I can't remember. But it, it's been a really enjoyable experience. It really has. I only wish that uh, my other partner in crime, in addition to Mark Harrison, who I'll talk about in a second, Charlie Soliday, who is our chief financial officer, who is, is really doing the work now back in the United States and in uh, supervising the development of, of, our, of our field in the DJ Basin. Uh, we're here tonight with his lovely wife, Cindy. Uh, there, there's a gentleman who just lit a cigarette. Uh, his name is Mark Harrison. And uh, Mark uh, is a former partner with one of the biggest law firms in the, in, in the world. And uh, he has been the high attorney. Billy Cumber Wagner, Heine Underberg, Casey, and Manley. Manley Casey. Manley and Casey. And uh, he's really the one that pushed me to, uh, once we met with Brown Shipley, to go ahead with the idea of a location because I was, I said the market's not right. And after talking to Peter Lilly, he assured me that the market wasn't right. But uh, we went ahead anyway, and, and Mark uh, really was very forceful, and uh, he's as much uh, the reason that we're here uh, this evening as anybody. He's the chief operating officer of, uh, of resources, the parent, and my good friend, and has been with me several years, and has helped me to grow in the oil business. Notwithstanding, by now, from reading the press, everybody ought to know that I'm not an oily. Mark Harrison, I'd like you to just stand up. One of the things that uh, we have, or I have, discussed in depth, especially with some of the younger fellows here, is uh, how this, how something like this all comes about. You know, how does uh, something like this come to fruition where we're all sitting with black ties except for me? Uh, and uh, it's, it's really not easy. Uh, the, one of the things that people that have known me for some, some length of time have, have known is that uh, I'm, uh, as I said earlier, very much a fatalist. I believe very much in goal setting and and, and, and positive thinking. The uh, one of the things that I that I've often said, and I I didn't say it in the press, or maybe I did, but they didn't quote me, is yesterday's dreams are to, uh, today's realities. Uh, three years ago, we came to uh, London, Mark and I, on another transaction, when I was the head of another company, with the idea of uh, doing a flotation. 
we sat down at Greenwell's, uh, our illustrious brokers, to the issue, and uh, a gentleman named Guy Dunphy stormed in. And Guy was ranting and raving about uh, this, is a, this is a great idea, but it's not the right time. Well, Guy happened to be right, and little did we know, we happened to get there the week of probably the worst oil flotation in the history of the London market. Hamilton Brothers uh, floated, I forget how many, hundreds of millions or whatever, and the uh, merchant bankers ate about 80% of the stock. Uh, Guy was right. So three years later, uh, we came back again and, uh, and were successful. Part and parcel of that success is the fact that one of our American banks uh, introduced us to the managing director of Brown Shifting, Richard Mansell Jones. Uh, quite innocently, I, I believe, I think anyway, uh, originally, and, but if it weren't for that introduction by Mid-Atlantic Bank, which is the largest bank in New Jersey, which has really been our premier bank and is the reason that we're successful today, uh, we wouldn't be here today. And I'd like very much to thank personally, and I think as a group we should thank, uh, the now leading head of the Mid-Atlantic office here in London, who will, will be going back to New Jersey here in the next two or three weeks, George Jenkins, who really uh, is primarily uh, responsible for our introduction to Brown Shipley, and without that introduction, it's, it's likely that this uh, issue wouldn't have come to fruition. George, thank you very much. Before I get too long-winded, because I promised Guy Dumpy. <laughs> not, not, notwithstanding, inter alia, uh, I didn't know what that meant until uh, we started dealing with Alan and Overy in Freshfield. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I know what it means now, but the, uh, I'd just like to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking about the, the support that we've received, uh, the, uh, starting with the PR and the press and with our professionals, and the fact that we did a, a number of dog and pony shows, as they're called in the United States, uh, i.e. going around and talking to institutions and uh, analysts, uh, or more importantly, in my humble opinion, purported analysts, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the fact that, that we have been favorably received is, is really a reflection of the fact that uh, all of us in this room, amongst a great many other people, and a lot of other firm, firms, never gave up. Uh, the, uh, I've historically uh, been successful in doing a lot of things against the trend. Uh, this afternoon I spent most the last two or three hours before I came here this evening on the phone with my Wall Street former colleagues uh, who are all very much excited about the issue. And uh, I think that the excitement will, will really spread I've said, notwithstanding, I used to be on the technical side, which I don't brag about anymore. Uh, the only technical resistance I see in the stock is about 10 pounds. But uh, I think that uh, performance is the name of the game now. We have sold this issue on the fact that, notwithstanding, one of the oil issues that came to market here in the last six months, which has been very successful, that uh, we really can't be compared to any of them. And uh, I think that uh, history will prove itself. One of the, the uh, things I'd like to say now is I'd like to thank two of the directors that are here, uh, notwithstanding all of them couldn't be here. Uh, the grand old man of the North Sea, as he's been called in the press recently, uh, Robert Dyke, formerly of Hamilton Brothers, more importantly of Great Western Resources now, <laughs> in my humble opinion, who uh, brought in the first oil of the North Sea. And I think that Bob Dyke, Bob, could you, so they can see your green head, <laughs> has given a great deal of credibility to what, what even though we're, we were quoted uh, or talked about as being an excep exceptional management team, a great deal of credibility vis-a-vis -vis his 50 years of experience. And without his sage advice and guidance, uh, this couldn't happen. 
Also, Mr. Bruce Patterson, formerly uh, finance director of Price Central and formerly uh, of Shell, uh, group treasurer for 23 years. Uh, the, the experience factor with Bruce, tied with, the, with Bob and our other directors, I mean, we, we couldn't have done without. It's been a group effort. I've gotten a lot of accolades and I'm, I'm very appreciative of them. And uh, I think in closing, I would say that uh, I feel very much like Eisenhower uh, on, on, on D-Day when finally Omaha Beach was, was, was taken. Notwithstanding, there were a lot of beaches that were taken very easily. And uh, Eisenhower got a lot of credit for probably he wasn't, he didn't, wasn't deserving. And I'm sure I'll get a lot of credit for things that I'm not deserving. Thank you very much and God bless you all. I would just uh, like to uh, uh, thank you for everything that you said uh, on behalf of all the various professionals, the home team as it were here. Um, to thank you um, and your colleagues. Um, it's, it, when one reflects on uh, the uh, success of an issue, um, one thinks as to you know, why has it been a success and why has it occurred this way. Um, the reason, of course, is the client. Um, the reason it has been such a success um, is because uh, Great Western, um, and more particularly its directors, um, are really absolutely top quality um, and top draw, and that is why we know the company has done well in the past and why it is going to do well uh, in the future. Um, another important thing that I'm sure uh, reflects the feeling of the uh, professional parties here in the room is that um, we have had to work hard from, uh, uh, during this and uh, you know, on occasion it's been tough, but also it's been fun. Um, we've enjoyed it, and that's always very important in a transaction like this. So I would just really like to finish by suggesting that uh, everyone drinks a toast to uh, Great Western. It's over. But uh, also, uh, uh, there's a song, I, I can't think of the name of the, the title, it's only just begun. This is just the beginning uh, of... of, of <laughs> this, is, this is just the beginning of resources history. And uh, I hope that uh, we can meet again. And um, somebody asked me a little earlier what I was going to do on my 40th birthday. Uh, I was asked that on my 38th birthday. I ran 38 miles on my 38th birthday. And people asked me what I was going to do on my 39th. And I said, that doesn't have to be something fairly big. <laughs> um, uh, the company has something fairly big to do in the next year. And I think we'll have big announcements on my 40th birthday, August 10th, 1985. Thank you very much again. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, we're looking forward to seeing you come and dance away the rest of the evening. Some nice music for you. Please come and join us. It's a nice song to start off. Nice and easy. It's called Can't Smile Without You. Please join us on the dance floor.